If you want to get really flexible, then one of the best tools that I've found is loaded eccentric stretching and loaded isometric stretching. These have been absolute game changers for me and I guarantee you are gonna give you a massive breakthrough with your own flexibility training. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image. So loaded eccentrics and loaded isometrics are some of my favorite ways of getting flexible and they gave me some of the biggest breakthroughs I've ever had. The reason why is because when you do loaded eccentrics or isometric contractions, what happens is that you not only create flexibility in the body by teaching the central nervous system to delay the inhibitors that prevent flexibility, but you also create strength. Loaded eccentrics and isometrics, well especially loaded eccentrics, are a great way to hypertrophy the muscle fibers, to thicken them up. So you create strength through range. It's a much safer way to develop flexibility. So I'm going to show you a couple of uh, really great techniques here. We're going to do a couple for the hamstrings and calves, uh, a couple for the uh, quads and the hip flexors, and then uh, one or two for the adductors, for the middle splits. So to start with for the hamstrings and calves, if you, if you find something like a yoga block where you can elevate your toes, so a really good loaded eccentric here. So if I grab onto the bar like, a, um, like this here, we're just gonna put the bar into the elbows. Now, if you're not as flexible as me, you won't need to do this, um, but because my hands will touch the ground if I don't do this, this is a good way for me to be able to get a bit more range of motion. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come down and do like a Jefferson curl. And at the bottom here, man, that is just a wicked stretch in my calves and hamstrings and posterior chain, okay? So this is an example of loaded eccentrics, okay? I can isolate the movement to the hamstrings and calves by doing it this way, and so that just removes um, the posterior chain, so the spine, and th that doesn't make it a better or a worse stretch, it's just different. And then if I wanna do a, a loaded isometric, I can just come down to here and hold it for 30 seconds, if I want to bring my whole posterior chain into it. Hi, in case we haven't met, my name is Rad Burmeister. I'm one of the founders of Unity Gym and the co-creators of the UMS, the Unify Movement System, where we turn driven people into strong, flexible and fit athletes. Now, if you want to know how we do that, you can grab one of our free blueprints, the Strength Blueprint, Flexibility Blueprint, Nutrition Blueprint or the At-Home Workout Blueprint. This video is actually all about the flexibility blueprint. So you can grab that as a free download. And if you wanna grab one of our programs, you can do that as well. We've got flexibility programs, strength programs, calisthenics programs. And if you're ready to come in and take the deep dive, start working with me personally online, you can join our UMS online coaching program where we coach you privately. And uh, you can grab a free month of that by clicking the link in the description of this video. Come down here. Hold it for 30 seconds. So once you're holding it, the, the, remember the isometric contraction is when the muscle neither lengthens nor shortens during the contraction. So it's basically when you go down to a full range of motion and you hold the, uh, the isometric contraction. For the, uh, for the eccentric, it's when the muscle is lengthening through the muscle contraction. So it's, that is a muscle contraction as you go down there, but it's just the muscles lengthening, okay? So that's a couple of examples for the hamstrings. If I move on to the... Um, uh, to the adductors, to the middle splits. I'm gonna take my shoes off for this. It's a lot easier for me without shoes. But I can get into a, um, uh, an isometric middle split. For a beginner, I highly recommend you have something that you can hold onto. So something like a, you know, like a pole here or something or a chair that's gonna support your weight. But this is a, right now I'm doing an eccentric contraction because I'm going down, 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 down. But if I get down to a, a range of motion that I'm comfortable with and then squeeze my legs together, so now I'm doing a isometric contraction for the adductors, okay? I can work eccentrics by coming down to the ground, back up, and then coming down, okay? Now I'm doing eccentric contractions for my middle splits. Of course, these are a little bit more advanced. There's different ways that you can progress and regress those. And then if I go into the quadriceps or the hip flexors, a really good loaded eccentric from here, hips forward, rib cage down. Okay, so we wanna try and get that line from the knee to the shoulders. I've got the rope here to support me and help me if I need to, and I'm eccentrically contracting, and then using the rope to help me back up. Ribs down, hips forward, eccentrically contracting, 
and then using the rope to help me get back up. So a nice loaded eccentric and then back up. And then of course the isometric version, if I just come down, I've got the rope here for help, I don't need it, okay? But if I do need it, it's here. And then I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds. So those are some really great examples for quads and hip flexors, hamstrings, calves, posterior chain, and also adductors for eccentric and isometric muscle contractions that are gonna give you a massive breakthrough with your flexibility training. If you wanna know more, grab the flexibility blueprint. There's a link in the description of this video. And remember, this is the, a video on the fourth point of that flexibility blueprint. There's 10 key breakthroughs. You can watch this whole video series and get the flexibility blueprint if you wanna know more. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you know when our weekly videos are uploaded. Now, the best thing for you to do if you wanna stay connected with us and get free online coaching is to join our private Facebook group. It's called the UMS Movement Mastermind and we go live daily where we answer our members' questions. It's very interactive because you can post questions while we're live and we interact with you on the show you can also upload videos or pictures of yourself with any movements, any stretches, strength training movements, calisthenics, weightlifting, anything that you're struggling with, and we'll critique you, give you feedback, let you know how you can get better. It's a really valuable resource. It allows a lot of communication with us and also our senior tribe members. You'll get answers very, very quickly, and it's absolutely free. So jump on Facebook, search for UMS Movement Mastermind, and join now. Until next time, have a great day.